guys. So first thing you'll need is a white polish. I'm just using the Sephora X in White Matter. And then we're going to be using a yellow. This is Pull Over from Sinful Colors. And an orange. I'm just using an Avon Trick or Treat Halloween in orange. It's quite old. And then the last color we need is a red. And I'm using I Read a Good Book from the Wet n Wild. Now also you might want to use nail stripers, it's a little bit easier, so I have yellow and I have red, I just don't have an orange at this time. Okay, so for the main part of our nails, I'm going to be starting with a yellow base. So the first layer is yellow, and I'm doing small strokes vertically. Um, it's a little bit harder to get a straight line this way, but I wasn't necessarily going for a straight line. So if you want a straight line, go horizontally, it'll be a little bit more smooth. So I'm just going to let that dry and now we're going to go on to our orange layer. Now again, you know, how thick you want these is up to you. So here I'm just doing my orange layer and as you can see I'm kind of doing almost more of like a little rounded scalloped edge to it. Okay, and once that is dry we're going to be doing our red layer and as you can see here I did not let it dry as much as it should have so it's a little bit harder to work with. but. Uh, just make sure you're letting each coat dry in between and it'll go very smoothly. And again, just use you know, a good amount of nail polish and that will help as well. So I'm just doing the very last part here of our red layer. And once that's done, we're just going to put a top coat on it and that is it. Okay, now for our thumb. This is more of the burst part of our sunset nails. I'm using my nail striper and I'm starting with the red. And what I'm going to do is start from the bottom corner of my nail first go out in the center and I'm just going a little ways then I put two more lines and kind of make like like a, a bird's foot looking thing so three lines and just you know keep putting more polish on in between each line to make sure you have a good amount and it has a nice opaque color that way you don't have to keep re-going over your lines so I'm gonna let that dry and now I'm gonna go in with the orange and as you can see I don't have a nail striper in orange so I'm just taking a little bit lighter of a hand and I'm just going in between the red. So I'm putting two lines of the orange. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. And then we're doing our last one, which is the yellow. And now my yellow um, is a little bit not as opaque. So that's why I'm putting it on last. And so I'm gonna kinda just put it on the outside, as you can see here. And then I'm gonna kinda over layer in between our red and our orange. So just kind of, you know, wherever you feel like putting them, if you want to put, you know, different uh, lengths, if you want to put a lot more smaller stripes in there, you can do that. And so now here, as you can see, I put in a line and it didn't come out quite as opaque as I wanted. So just go ahead, get some more nail polish, and then just draw over it. we just try and hold a steady hand. My hand's a little shaky because I don't have a, anything under it, but that is the finished product. Alright guys, and there are all of the nails done. Okay guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's nail tutorial. Uh, if you liked today's tutorial, please go ahead and hit the like button below. Let me know if you enjoy these. Um, yeah, as always, I will have videos down here, so definitely check those out. Let me know which ones you like the best. And if you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button over there. If not, I will have it down in the darn bar below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.